This is a fan-made game. Some of you may have heard of it, some people may not. I don't know how popular it actually got, but here it is, it's called Sonic Utopia. It never really got out of this demo stage that it's in here. But the uh, cool thing about it is the person who made it, like, this is, you know, seeing the way Sonic went on Sonic Adventures and Sonic Adventures 2 on Dreamcast. And all of, all of the subsequent 3D Sonic games that came afterwards. The person who made this did so as like a way of like, this is the way they wanted to see Sonic transition from 2D to 3D. So that's what this is. There's not much to the game, so this is going to be pretty brief before we go on to the next one. But I thought, I thought people might be interested in seeing this. Chad is wondering what program I'm using with all the games on it. Um, that That's like a front-end organizer I have, software. It's called... There's two versions of it. There's a free version, and then there's also like a paid version. It's called LaunchBox. The free version gives you like the desktop mode, basically. And... Uh, the paid version that I'm using is what gives you that like full size, you know, beautiful videos and you're scrolling through the different platforms and organized and playlists. That's big box. But that's a part of the launch box package that you can pay for. But even free launch box is great. It organizes all of your games. If you have anything that you use in DOSBox, it can have that all set up for you. So that when you click on your DOSBox game, it just launches it in DOSBox with all the settings you had. So yeah, as you can see, this is like, uh, it's a 3D Sonic made by a fan who wanted to see 3D Sonic more like 2D Sonic, I guess you could say. I was, it's quite uh, interesting though, especially considering this is all made in Unity, eh? But yeah, never left the demo phase, unfortunately. But, I mean, look at this. This was, I mean, imagine this fleshed out into like a full-blown game. This would be, I think, the 3D Sonic that I would be looking for too. Because Chad, I bought, I had game, what was it? I had uh, Dreamcast when it first came out and all that. Great system and everything. But like, let's not lie to ourselves. Sonic Adventure was the beginning of the end for Sonic. Everybody remembers the first level of that game. And then after that, it's, it's honestly a terrible game. It turns into everything that everybody complains about with Sonic 06. <laughs> Chat says this reminds them of Spyro. Yeah, I could see that. I can see that. Rather. There we go. You gotta do a loop as Sonic. A little bit of camera jank there. Adventure 2 was a bit better. But it was, it's, I still like 3D Sonic, I don't know. I, I mind you, I, I fully recognize that I could be biased to 2D Sonic. But I always found 3D Sonic was like lacking something. I don't know what, I can never quite put my finger on it. But it never felt 
quite like the successor to 2D Sonic I wanted. Thought that was a ramp there, guess not. Let's try going this way some. Not actually sure how much there is to this level, but so far an impressive amount. Chad says, I know I mentioned it earlier, but I would recommend Sonic Robo Blast 2. It's a full 3D Sonic game built out of the Doom engine. Actually plays really well, chat. I think I have that chat. I do think I have that Sonic, Sonic Robo Blast. Okay, we'll, we'll check that. I'm gonna try and check that tonight. We'll see if I have that. I think I do. Oh, I almost made it over there. Chat says, uh, Sonic 2 definitely had camera problems, but 2 had the g gaining new abilities and minor backtracking and access to new stuff going for it. Definitely. Like I say, definitely an upgrade over what the first one was. And I'm not saying, of course, this is the replacement as it is now. But I can see, like, what this person was imagining, you know what I mean? Hold on, my cat is like crawling on my screen for my arcade cabinet. I gotta get him off one second. Sorry, my guy was being a dink there. Chad asks if I've played Mania. Is Mania... Mania has 2D and 3D levels in it, or is it all 2D? Not sure how I get across this water here. Oh, I need to get back up there. My cat at night, he gets all squirrely. It's that time of night where he starts getting all... He wants to run around the house and go nuts. And start trying to climb the walls. It's hoping to come across another loop-to-loop -loop here, chat. Okay, chat says uh, Sonic Mania was all 2D. The one with 2D and 3 is Generations, right? I do have Mania. I'll have to play that at some point. I've heard that it was really good. Here we go, freeing some of the animals. Save the animals, Sonic. My mouse cursor on the screen there, sorry about that, comrades. Okay, so Mania was made by fans and distributed by Sega. Interesting. Well, we'll definitely have to do that on, probably have to do a full playthrough of that on the channel. Probably multiple episodes for that, eh? Oh, here we go. <laughs> for being so early though, the, I do like the movement in this.
Chat says Sonic Mania is really good. It's like the old Genesis ones. Perfect. Definitely will play through that on the stream. Chat says, I feel like this would pair well with the Jail White cartoons, Sonic Universe. I love the Sonic cartoons, Chat. I think I'm running out of places to go here, so we're about to switch games here again. Let's just jump up here for a second first. Oh, here we go. I do sort of like, um, it sort of has that same spirit as the original Sonic games where you had uh, different ways to go by staying higher or lower on the map. The difference is, of course, this one, rather than higher or lower, it's laid out because it's, you know, 3D. And now I'm back in this corner. Okay, so let's switch. Let's switch our games here. So yeah, that is uh, Sonic Utopia, fan-made demo.